All right. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. Happy Hunt Day. Uh, happy Wednesday. Um, and I am your many medium on the A1R Psychic Radio and the beautiful Moonstruck TV. Um, I just literally hopped off a Zoom reading with this beautiful lady in Florida. And so I'm, I'm a little bit still trying to get my bearings. It's been a, been a crazy day. Um, I don't know how you all kind of uh, do your own little bit of self-love and self-care, but um, I love to go and I get my nails done or, um, you know, lashes or my hair, or whatever it may be. And so I went and got my nails done. I have to show these off really quick on camera. So if you go and watch, um, I have to give them some serious due credit because the guy, I guess there's a gentleman, um, uh, his shout out to Christopher um, at Wicked or Wicked, I'm sorry, Wild Orchid, Wicked. Wild Orchid Nails, uh, where I go here in uh, Riverton, Utah. And they're amazing. If you live in Utah, I just, I promised him to. I'm like, I'll give you a shout out because I want you to see these nails. So I kind of have to turn them. Uh, I'll show you on camera. Oh, if I can get, let's see, there you go, Steph. Okay, so I don't know if you can see on here. It might be a little blurry, but this little dude is like a 3D snowman. Where are you? There you go, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> told you I'm trying to get my bearings. Anyway, this little dude's like jumps out. He's a little 3D um, nail guy. And then I got the nails done with um, this fun red and black plaid. And anyway, uh, just a fun day. So it's been busy, but a good uh, inner self love day, taking care of myself, got my toes done. Uh, so I feel great. I feel great. So I hope you all take some time to do the same because I'll tell you, Whatever it is that you do um, uh, to take care of yourself, just remember to do it um, often. Um, obviously, you don't have to spend tons of money um, to take care of yourself. Uh, you know, you can go for a walk, you can read a book, uh, you can take a nice hot Epsom salt bath. You know, there's many things you can do. Um, so please make sure you take time for yourself because I'll tell you. Um, when, especially with the holidays, you know, coming, you know, uh, here in the U.S. and, and I'm sure other uh, countries that are listening to, you know, we've got uh, Christmas and, and um, oh gosh, all the other religious, please forgive me for not being able to name them a lot, but, um, you know, Hanukkah, we've got all of these. And uh, especially for myself for Christmas, uh, we get a little... Um, a little overwhelmed <laughs> with um, the holidays and we forget what it's about. And then we also, uh, in turn, we forget to take care of ourselves. So please make sure uh, you do, um, because at the end of the day, if you are not healthy and you are um, going to crash, you're no good for anybody, right? So, um, all right. With that said, oh, I'm like making my my camera goal funky minute there. So um with that said, let's read uh before we take our uh caller here, let's read the affirmation. And I did pull an affirmation for today. Last week I um I think I pulled an oracle card, but um so here's the beautiful affirmation for all of y'all um across um the the wonderful fan of, of listeners on A1R and on Moonstruck TV. And I'm so sorry, I need to fix my, ah, there it goes. I'm having, um, <laughs> my camera is going all funky. I love my producers. I love the people behind the scenes with A1R. They keep me, they keep me honest. Uh, okay, affirmation for everybody. I let go of the past. I trust in the future. And I accept the present moment. Oh my gosh, I've not read this one yet out of all my affirmation cards. I think this is beautiful. So I let go of the past. So very important. I trust in the future. So trusting, uh, you know, in your intuition of what is to come. And I accept the present moment. So really how I connect with that is really accepting, um, you know, whatever is to come your way, uh, whether that be, um, you know, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm fixing my dang camera. Sorry to my producer, but uh, it's going to pop off my, my thing here. So thanks, Dave. Uh, 
Yes, accepting your future and your present is so important because at the end of the day, um, there are some things that we can control and there are some things that we cannot. And so um, go with the flow, my friends, right? That's the Gemini in me, by the way. Okay, enough of the chit chat. How about we take our first caller? Um, and I'm excited. Um, this is Lydia and Lydia's from Idaho and I, uh, Idaho is very close to my state here in Utah. So hi, Lydia. This is the mini medium. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm good. A lot of crazy energy with this full moon still. So I can't wait to, to see what comes of your reading tonight. Should be just as incredible as all my others. So <laughs> oh. uh, how can I how can I help you tonight, hon? Um, I just wanted to get a general, you know, just as a message out there for me. A general reading? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. You got it. Okay. So when I do general readings, um, it's really uh, just wherever my guides take me, uh, wherever my intuition takes me. So we could really focus on, on many aspects, um, whether it be, uh, you know, relationships or your health, finances, um, children, if you have them. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Now, um, I, al I always ask my callers um, uh, if they connect with a certain number and every day, especially on Wednesdays, it's like, I feel like those that have passed away and, and my guides just know that Wednesday is my most intuitive day. Um, so the number 33 came up today and I get numbers a lot. Now, the 33 for me is going to be the age of 33, um, but this can also be the, um, the date of March 3rd. Uh, but ultimately, this can be a real uh, close connection with the month of March or the third of a month. Now, with that said, do you connect with that number? My mom passed away last year, March 27th, I think it was. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So mom passed, mom passed in March. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me tell you a little what's very interesting. Um, I know we're wanting to go general. Now, my strongest of my gifts is my mediumship. I've been doing the uh, mediumship for about 27 years. And um, the, the gal I was meeting with over Zoom um, that, that had a paid reading with me, uh, we had a very beautiful, um, I, I call it an energy at the moment, a feminine energy, a very, um, it just very angelic, beautiful energy. And um, I couldn't pinpoint who it was for her. Um, however, sometimes souls come in a little early because uh, they get excited and they want to connect with their loved ones. They know that you're coming in and they know we're going to be connecting. So are you open if I connect with mom? Any messages from her? Yes, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And and I say if this is her because right now it's just, um, it's, I get energy. It's just a feeling. And then they start to transition and then they turn into their their soul steps forward and then all my gifts start to kick in. So we'll we'll see where that heads okay. here. Uh, but since you're okay with it, I will keep that open, okay? Um, okay. Okay. All right, my friend. So let me um I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pull just a couple cards really quick for you. Um now the way I do readings, I use cards as more of a guide or a tool. Um, or a visual validation for the sitter to see, um, you know, what my gifts are showing me. So um, I just want to pull a couple here for you and see if there's anything that's connecting at the moment. Um, okay. All right, my friends. So, uh, all right, I'm going to quiet my mind for just a moment. I think we might have mom coming in because the energy just got really different. So. Uh, it'll be quiet, but I'm still here. Um, okay. So don't go in there. <laughs> okay. One second. Okay. Um, okay. Um, if this is mom, I, I, I hope we'll get some more validations if this is her. Um, she's showing me the number six. Now that I, I now I just realized that 33, three and three is six, could be also her way of tricking me. So do you connect with the number six? My birthday's in June. 
Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay. I think we got mom coming in, hun. Okay. So yeah. which three and three band six would be connecting with why mom's like um, being a little tricky, which souls will do that sometimes. Um, okay. Are, are you a Gemini? Um, cancer. Okay. You're, you're, you're the other June. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I'm a Gemini, so I, I always, um, oh, okay. the cancers. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, now your mom, uh, some things that I'm getting, um, just physical validations. Um, I, I, I no doubt this is mom. I, I can feel that mother maternal instinct kind of energy. So um, now she's um, she's showing me issues with uh, with the lungs and with breathing. I almost feel like I have COPD or I have uh, emphysema or um, or pneumonia. Did she have issues with the lungs or heart? Um, with her heart, she um, she actually died of a. It's called widower maker. It's a um, blood clot that traveled up to her main artery with children. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think your mom just made my phone jump off of the oh, jump off of my thing here. Hang on one second. Uh, <laughs> I know you you can't see it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good thing you can't. Okay, I'll keep talking, but on camera, my phone just went flying off my thing. Okay, that was weird. That stuff happens with when energy gets this way. Okay, that was really crazy. Oh. My poor oh. producer. Sorry, Dave. I'm probably so off kilter now, but anyhow. Okay, we'll keep moving forward. So, um, but yes, I do know. Um, I do know all about um, the widowers. Um, yeah, I know exactly what that's about, my friend. So, because uh, okay. she, uh, she did very much. Um, affect the heart, the lungs, I could feel, um, you know, yeah. the, the, the pain in that area, if you will. So, um, okay. Now, uh, okay. I want to pick up. So obviously her passing very sudden and unexpected, 100%, right? Because she makes me feel like she, she's almost showing me like she knew she had some heart problems, but did not realize that this was going to happen this fast yeah yeah she had heart problems for a while she was like 40 50s and um she was on medications and stuff for it but this was gotcha. really all, all, all of a sudden i took her to the doctors they said she had pneumonia and that's what you know that's what they diagnosed her with and i took her just to the hospital in the evening and they said that um they wanted to keep her overnight to watch her and then like within a few hours, she was fine. Uh, gotcha. Okay. And that's, I, I, you just said pneumonia and that was the feeling, um, you know, when I pick up on even, you know, whether it was brought up, uh, you know, as, as a oh. thought that maybe that's what she had, but, you know, and I, I do feel like she had some lung issues. Um, now, um, I, I have to show you, cause I know I'll have another caller possibly come in depending on time oh. here, but, um, but I pulled, um, I have these beautiful cards that are uh, messages from heaven. Um, this amazing, um, his, he's a medium, very well-renowned medium. His name's James Von Frog. And um, I thought, you know, I'm going to pull the number 33. And I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to, um, I'll take a picture of this. I will post that you can go on to um, a one oh my gosh, it did it again. Boy, this has been a rough night. I broke my phone again. Maybe it's your mom. Just <laughs> her energy is insane. I cannot keep my phone to stay on my thing. So, this, is, this is the joy of being live. Okay, so yeah. we'll just roll with. It. All right, my friend. Let me show. I'm going to show on camera um, the card that pulled uh, uh -huh. with the number 33. If you can go back uh -huh. onto A1R, or uh, you can go to YouTube and watch Moonstruck TV, mm -hmm. you'll find the Mickey Medium show. Okay. This card um, says, 
uh, and these are messages, very brief, but it says tears cleanse the soul. And the card, I'm not kidding you, it's beautiful, but it has uh, water droplets and I'll show it on camera here. And it's shaped like a heart. Oh. It is incredible. It is incredible. So um, I, I want you to be able to see that. Um, and uh, if you get that chance to go on there, but I can't help but think about the fact that um, the uh, the card having the heart on wow. it is really is yeah. your mom and connecting with the heart. Out of all of these cards, yeah. I don't think that there's very many cards with the heart on them. So um, just kind of keep that in mind as a beautiful message from mom. And can I ask? Was your mom a very strong energy? <laughs> yeah, she was. Of... Yeah, oh, she was very gosh. active, strong. Yes. Yes. Oh, my was gosh. I, like, I... Oh, well, I'll tell you, I've done this show for over a year now, and I've never mm -hmm. had my phone, um, you know, because I, I use my phone to, to do lives. Uh, but I've never had my phone pop off of my my stand like this that many times. <laughs> so, um, what it now? I just heard a name like Doris or Dorothy, or I just heard a D name. Do you connect with that in any way? Whether they're here in the no. physical or have passed. Not taking them. Okay, keep that name in mind, just because uh, that came through very clearly. Uh, and this could be uh, a grandmother or someone on, that has passed but, um, that mom's wanting to let you know she's with. But I can hear like Doris or Dorothy, um, oh. kind of the older, kind of the older, reminds me of the older names, you know, generational names. But um, anyhow, yes, I'm going to tell you, I know I've got another caller and, and I'm telling you, uh, if anything, you can take out of this, this beautiful reading of mom coming through. For one, for validating um, the month of March is her month of passing. Your okay. birthday, your birthday month yeah. is the, mar um, the month of June. Um, her amazing, incredible, and even mischievous energy that's messing with my stuff. <laughs> Um, which it's hilarious. I'm like, all right, this this will be like one of my bloopers that she will just. I can hear your mom laugh. I could seriously hear your mom laughing. Um, <laughs> so, anyhow, but also I want to tell you, my friend, one thing I feel and why, without a doubt, I knew this had to be mom, um, is an overwhelming sense of um, of really her just just being at peace she's a very angelic beautiful energy um so it's uh it, it it's it's refreshing if that's i mean you know that's kind of an interesting way of putting it but um but but i feel like she also is just validating that she's had so many beautiful lessons on the other side and and she's making up for what oh, she nice. couldn't do physical yeah um and oh, i just heard you. her say Oh my gosh, you're so welcome, hun. I'll give you one quick message and then I got to hop on with my other caller. Okay. But, um, okay. but I do feel one thing that she said, um, uh, she, she, and, and I love what I just heard. She said, tell my daughter that she's an even better mother than I was and just stop questioning Aww. that. So Aww. that was nice. I, I yeah, feel I like, that she, yeah, I, I can feel it. And, you know, I, I lost my mom 11 years ago, um, and I, oh, she was my best friend, my best friend. So, yeah, that's like my um, mom. Yeah, it's really hard yeah. on me right now. 100%. Yeah, well, thank right. you so much. You're so welcome. And if you are up, and I know in Idaho, you're on the same time as me, um, Mountain Time at 7, about 7.45 on my Facebook uh -huh. page. It's called the uh, Mini Medium. I give free readings okay. for about two hours. So if you want okay. to hop on, we might get more from mom and maybe continue this. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Thank you so much. All right, my friend. All right. Hey, you're you. so welcome. All right, hun. Okay. Hey, have a good night. You too. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. All right. We're just rolling along with this crazy night. All right. So I have, I'm excited. I have Christy 
and Christy's from Canada. Hi, Christy. This is Mini Medium. How are you? Hi there. Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's been a crazy night, so just be prepared. <laughs> I've had okay. I've, I've had I've had energy of souls causing phones to fly off the, the holders. So maybe we'll have that same reaction with you. <laughs> so <laughs> how <laughs> I love it though. You you know, that's the joy of being live on the radio. You know, you just go with yeah. it and, and laugh and laugh because you know there's gonna be those nights, but all right, my friend, how can I help you tonight? Uh, well, I was just wondering if there was um, any guidance uh, from my... Um, uh, do I have to be specific? No, no, I always like, say... No. I just say, and just, I mean, in a, in a roundabout general way, um, but not too much information, yeah. Okay, yeah, if there's any guidance uh, from my loved ones that have passed on um, okay. to help me through the next uh, little while. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, all right. So my, um, my mediumship is my strongest of my abilities. And um, uh, today, and I don't know if you were listening earlier when I was explaining to my last caller or not, but um, I get numbers a lot. And the number 33 has been coming up very strong. Um, for me, the number 33 connects with um, uh, the number six, um, the month of March, the age of 33. Um, occasionally, this will be March 3rd. Do you connect to any of your loved ones with, with those numbers or with that in mind? With 33 or March 3rd? Um, Either 33. Have them. Okay, think about it. it. And it's okay if it doesn't. My last caller fit beautifully. Um, I just like to throw it out there because loved ones will come through and, and I never know who they're connecting with, especially because I, um, I do my podcast and then I also hop on my Facebook tonight and do free readings. And so, uh, but keep in mind that either the number three, which will be March or the third of a month, um, it can be the number six, which that connected uh, to the last caller, three and three being six, um, or the age of 33, which would be the age that they passed or they would have been 33. So just um, sometimes it takes a minute to connect with that. But if you do later, feel free to, to message, um, you know, myself or A1R and, and let me know. But um, I know there's time, several you know, birthdays in there's several birthdays okay. in March. That's the only thing that I can think of. Okay. 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 And it could very well be that. And uh, of those ones, of all the birthdays in March, have they crossed over? Have they passed? Uh, one has. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to just kind of quiet my mind for a moment and see what I can pick up on. Okay, hon? Uh, so don't go anywhere. I'm here. Give me one second. Okay. Um, okay. Now, uh, I pick up on energy first, and then the soul starts to come in. Um, so right now, I've got a younger male. I've got a younger male energy starting to come in. When the soul steps forward, that's where my gifts really start to kick in, uh, where I hear them, feel them, see them. Um, <clears throat> um, how do you connect to the younger male that had um, uh, some kind of, of, of head issue? Uh, so there was either um, uh, damage uh, to the head, to the brain, uh, or they really struggled um, with uh, depression, anxiety, and that led to their past. Do you connect with the younger male? Does that make sense? Um, no, I, I can't think of anyone. There was okay. past, but that would describe. Okay. No, no, this is connecting with you. Um, I, I'm. I'm 100% sure because 
um, his energy just got very, uh, very intense. So um, now I've only got about two minutes on my show. It's been crazy tonight with the things we've had. Um, let me ask you really quick. Um, what time is it where you're located, Hen? Uh, almost eight. Almost eight. AM, okay. Or eight p.m. Sorry. Yeah. Eight, okay. Okay. I don't know if you'll be up, <laughs> but here in about an hour, fifteen minutes, um, I uh, have a Facebook on my Facebook page. It's called Mini Medium. Um, I do free okay. readings for a couple hours. Um, due to the uh, time crunch that we're on, I would love to continue this. Um, so if you're up in an hour and a half, hop on mini medium and um, okay. let me know who you are. Uh, I We need to get this message out because I do feel like this is a younger, a younger generational male, but there's some reason why it's very urgent. So uh, if you're up, um, hop on that and, and let me know. I know I have like 45 seconds, but um, if, if you're able to let me know who you are and, and we'll see if we can't continue this uh, message, okay? Okay, sure. And it was it someone who was a younger male that they passed? That could have been um, a long time ago? Or? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess. So um, while, when we hop off the air here, think about it. Or if you want to email me, you can email me um, at readings at mini-medium.com and uh, that's readings at mini-medium.com and then I can even just set up some time for free and I'll, I'll continue reading okay okay